In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 tips and tricks in Dogecoin Mining Tycoon. If you want to be rich like me and get all of the latest cards and coolers, then stay tuned. If you are new around here, I'm LCLC. I'm gonna take you from noob to pro. Smash the subscribe and the like button and let's get on with the first tip. Tip one. Okay, so the first tip is staring you right in the face at the beginning of the game. You want to join the group Ursa Major Games because it lowers your exchange fee by 10%. So every time you trade in your Dogecoins for in-game currency, it takes a fee. Now it's currently 30%. If you join the group here, like I'm doing now, then you're gonna reduce that by 10% and you're gonna get 10% more money. I like money. When you trade in your Dogecoins, it's worth doing. And also drop a thumbs up on the game just to help these guys out. Tip two. Okay, so this one is one of the most important and easiest things to do. This is my best tip in the game right now, actually. It's all about the exchange rate. Now you can see behind me, the graph is moving up and down. We're gonna go in and have a look. So this is an exchange rate. This is just like in the real world where currencies or cryptocurrencies or even stocks go up and down. You wanna trade at the right time. Now it only takes a minute for it to go up or down. So when it goes up, what you wanna do is quickly exchange. That way you will get the most money. I like money. For your Dogecoins that you've been mining. Now, if you wait for it to go red, and you trade then, you're just wasting all of that time you've spent earning Dogecoins because you're not gonna get much money per Dogecoin. So this applies in this game and on all exchange rates around the world. So if you learn it here, you'll learn it for the rest of your life. You'll know how to trade. It's very simple. Only sell your coins when the market is very high at the top of the peak in the green. Tip three. Codes, codes, codes. So these are all the codes that I've used so far. Now these do change. So I recommend you following Ursa Major Roblox on Twitter. There is an at sign there just below. Now the first code is always going to work. It's called free fan and you're going to need this i'm going to show you how cooling works later on in the game it's very important now there are lots of other codes now they do change over time every time there's an update so update 2 came out with update 2 you may not be able to redeem that now however if you check in the comments down below i will leave all the latest codes as they get updated if you're looking at this video in the future then make sure you check down in the comments for any more codes now every time there is an update there is a new code so there is a code for update 5 at the moment so you want to type update 5 which works today also something that you can do which is going to give you free premium coins and free stuff is go over here now if you join the game with a friend you get 10 premium coins so if they have not played the game yet what you can do is invite them to the game let them know about the game and then you will get 10 premium coins in your game so all you want to do is go over here and invite your friends so scroll down your list anybody who's not played the game yet or just spam everybody invite them all and you will get 10 premium coins when they join the game for the first time also don't forget every day you can spin this wheel for a chance of winning premium coins or in-game items you can even win the dogecoin dogecoin statue did i just say that twice anyway i'm going to explain what he does and another way how to get him later in the video tip Four. Quests are very important. They give you rewards. Now I'm going to show you every reward that you get from every quest, but make sure you do these quests because they give you really OP items early on in the game. So the first quest is really easy. You want to help Mary. I have got a guide for every other quest on my channel. So if you get stuck, if you can't find something, come to my channel or just search on YouTube. You will find my videos at the top because I've got a guide and a quest guide for each every quest now this first one helping mary will get you something that you will need early on in the game so mary gives you two cooling fans and the other quests i'm going to show you what you get so here is the list of all the other quests that i've completed and i'm going to quickly run through and show you all the rewards so you know if they're worthwhile doing or not i've done all of these and like i said i have got a guide on my channel to all of them so the first quest gives you two large fans then you get some premium coins then you get a black hole cooler then you get more premium coins and then on the egypt quest ancient artifact also a five stack shelf times two those are really important black hole cooler premium coins and also more premium coins and then there's one more quest which gives you the laser coolers and then the big quest the moon gives you a galaxy cooler and a black hole cooler tip 
five. This tip is really simple, but saves a lot of time. As you progress through the map, you go to further and further away worlds, such as this pyramid world. Now, if you want to get back to your plot, you could walk all the way, but it does take a long time. So all you gotta do is click up here, teleport, and it takes you back to your plot. Super quick tip, super fast, but super helpful. Speaking of being helpful, why not drop a sub on this channel if you're enjoying the video so far. Tip six. There are multiple ways of getting premium coins. They stack up, you get two every 20 minutes just by playing the game. You also get them from quests and you can also win them on the spin wheel which I showed you earlier. Now you can obviously buy some with Robux, we'll look at that in a second, but what do you want to spend your premium coins on? None of these things are worthwhile buying. You wanna save your premium coins up. This GPU is not good, these are the first things you're going to want to get because it gives you five tiers in the space where your previous shelf will only give you three tiers. So you want to stack these as best as you can early on in the game. Eventually you only want to use these shelves. You don't want to be using the smaller shelves. Skip the diamond GPU. In fact, skip the ice cream cone as well. And you can purchase this if you want but it only gives you a 25% gain. This cooler you can get in a quest for free. Now this is a thousand a thousand premium coins it is the best item in the game it doubles your dogecoin mining rate if you can save up for it brilliant if not then what you could do is if you've got some robux of course now i know these robux tips are not always popular but if you are going to spend some robux then i recommend you buy premium coins buy the 1200 here for 699 robux and get that item that dogecoin statue to double your mining rate if you only have a few robux 399 i've spent here on the vip tag now this gives you a 50 percent boost to your mining rate rather than the two times boost which you get with the statue is half the price that's what i've purchased with my robux if you only have a couple of hundred robux i'm going to show you what to purchase but don't forget to place this pyramid down if you do get it it only works when it's placed on your plot it does take up quite a lot of space anyway if you only have 200 robux then the best thing to purchase is the no exchange fee here which is trade in your doge coins for money with a zero percent fee now let me explain what that does so earlier we spoke about reducing the exchange fee for 10 percent by joining the group if you have this robux pass then your exchange fee is zero percent the market takes no share of your money whereas normally they will take 30 percent or here it's 20 percent now that i've joined the group tip seven cooling 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 is the most important element of this game and not a lot of people understand how it works so i'm going to explain it if you already know then just stay around because you may not know everything that i'm about to show you so in the background is my main setup but what i'm going to do just so you can see it clearly is just set up a single shelf here with some cards now it doesn't matter what cards you put down the cooling multiplies the cooling on any card the same so we're just going to use these banana cards doesn't matter which card you use so right now it says no cooling so what we're going to do is we're going to add some cooling and i'm going to show you what happens so you can see here i've got loads of coolers we're going to start with the basic desk fan now you put one down make sure the blue box is facing your table and we've now got five percent cooling added another one 10% cooling so that gives you 10% more mining efficiency that means instead of earning one dogecoin you earn 1.1 dogecoin this can increase exponentially as we get better and better fans so these ones give you six and then 12% if we take away one of these six percent fans and replace it so I'm going to remove it it's just so you can see the mass and understand how it works so I've put a five percent cooler down five plus six is eleven so this becomes quite a mathematical game. We're gonna add another fan here, and we've now gone up to 16%. Now the box fan, this box fan covers two spots, so you can put it at this side of the table, and that's given us a 32% increase. So you can see how this can exponentially increase. We've got the ice cube cooler here, which I'm going to place, let me get rid of this. I'm gonna use its two spots there to call that. We've now jumped up to 67%. Instead of earning one Dogecoin, going to earn 1.67 Dogecoins. Now the fire hydrant, you've got to be careful where you place it, but when I do place it down, if you aim it correctly, then boom, we're up to 107% and you can add another one, we're up to 147%. So this game is all about cooling. This wind turbine, which you get very later on in the game, we're now up to 187%. Now there are more and more coolers. We've got 
uh, laser coolers I've got 10 of these you can put these on the diagonal and watch this we're up to 227% cooling I'm going to add another one in this corner here 267% and another one there 307% cooling final one there 347% efficiency that's 3.4 times your normal mining rate now this goes up and up as you get more and more coolers throughout the game remember you can go and check your hash rate which is in the stats here we've got a hash rate here of 1.953499d as you place down coolers you can check that you've improved your hash rate or made it worse by checking the stats there tip Hey, you make the most progress by leaving your game on for a long time. Now, I use an auto clicker because Roblox kicks me out every 20 minutes. This is the auto clicker that I use. I will leave a link in the description down below to the auto clicker that I use. It is perfectly safe. It's widely used in the community by many Roblox members. I set it to a couple of seconds and I choose a location anywhere on the screen and I just press start. That way I can leave it on for an hour or more overnight to gain all those coins, level up, and then the next day come back and you can purchase some cards with all your new dogecoin money i like money tip nine as you progress through the game you get lots and lots of gpus now each stage each time you level up and are able to get to a new area and purchase new gpus your old ones become pretty redundant they're not very op anymore as you can see i've got a stack of old cards here in my inventory and they retreat lower and lower and lower in performance now when you get to a new area and you purchase some new cards there's no point keeping these junkyard cards in your plot anymore in fact i recommend you don't waste your time on them at all i'm going to show you why so these old cards become so useless they're not even worth placing in your plot uh, look in my stats here 195.3499d if i remove these cards which i'm going to do next uh gone completely gone you will see or we'll pull up the stats again uh view stats there we go and my hash rate is the same as it was before so as you progress don't even bother wasting space on your plot with the older cards just keep your most powerful cards cooled very well as per my tip seven you want to optimize your cooling use your cooling on your op cards forget about your old ones these are the op cards you want to call don't use your old cards on your plot anymore they're not even worth taking up any space tip 10 i know a lot of you have been contacting me asking me about my layout and what i'm using at the moment now i don't normally like making layout videos because they only last a few days before the next update comes out and there are a lot more people that are better at making layouts than me i'm going to show you where to get that information from but i will show you my current layout what i'm doing with my plot at the moment but this is likely to change in the future however it is important to do a good layout let me show you my layout you can see here i'm using the diagonals for the laser coolers i've also got the pyramid which gives me 50 percent i've got these uh big fans i forget what they're called turbines wind turbines anyway you can see i've stacked up on the laser cooling on the diagonals and i've only got one two three four i've got six shelves and they're all the five tier shelves and from above you can really see the layout i've got multiple coolers down the middle which are multiplying up because i've got a stack of them i've got the black hole cooler the arctic cooler and some other coolers as well and of course i'm using the diagonals to boost with the laser coolers now like i said there are people with better layouts than me i'm going to show you where you can get that information okay so there will be a link in the description down to the discord room for dogecoin mining tycoon now you should all join this discord room anyway and mine there's a link below but down here in the content there are layout ideas where some of the best players and some of the worst post their layouts now you will need a different layout for different levels because cooling changes at each level but you want to go to discord and get the latest layout if you don't want to make one yourself if you want to just have fun with it just experiment yourself you can learn a lot just by messing around and looking at the percentages here you can see i've got some plus 970 percent plus 980 percent do me a favor drop a thumbs up on this video if it's helped you out subscribe if you're new around here and i will see you very soon with another dogecoin mining tycoon video goodbye